Hello folks, uh, I want to talk to you, to, uh, to you about in the beginning, about how wonderful the Bible is and what it means to you and to me really. And in the beginning, at the very beginning of the Bible, in Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 5, he says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Now that's the story of creation. I want also to see what it means to you. It goes a bit deeper. And it says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And in the Bible it calls human beings earthen vessels. And the vessel is your body, your spirit is in it, but Adam was made from the earth. So we are um, earthen vessels. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And that speaks of a man who's never accepted Christ as his saviour and it's, um, his, his life is without form and void and he hopes he'll get to heaven but he doesn't know. But there is a way to know. And he says, And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And any man that's born again can tell you how God has had his hand upon him or her before they were born again, but they can only see it afterwards, through circumstances, way of life, all sorts of manners of way of bringing you to God. And the Spirit of God is working on the face of the water, on the face of your void. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And now there comes a day, a moment, when all of a sudden it all clicks, and you can see that Jesus died for you. You're a sinner. You need a saviour. Jesus is the only saviour and is the only one that would die just for you. To forgive you of your sins. To give you life, love, joy and peace in life. With not, nothing to worry about the future. All is well. And he saw the light. And he, he called and there was light. God saw the light that it was good and now he looks on you and me once we accept Jesus as our saviour not as sinners but as sons and daughters of the living God and he looks on that as good and he divided the light from the darkness and that's the work of God and what happens is your tastes change for the better things change and God loves you just as you are he loves you too much to leave you as you are. And he will change you, not into a better you, but a totally different you. And the, God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And we are now, once you give your life to Christ, the Bible says you become the children of day. So we've gone from night to day. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And when I got born again, when I, when I read this, I asked my pastor, why does it say from evening to morning when we go from morning to evening? And my pastor very wisely said, it's because God always works from darkness to light, never the other way about. And I want to tell you here and now, friend, that if you accept Jesus as your saviour, he'll bring you from the darkness of sin into the most marvellous light, the Bible says, of being born again with all the benefits. And I'll talk again next week possibly about the wages of sin being death, but the gift of God is eternal life. But that gift is on offer right now to you. Ask Jesus to come into your heart, forgive you of your sins, and it's like an ABC. Accept that Jesus, you are a sinner Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and confess your sins and you will be saved and you will find eternal life 
while you're here on earth. I trust you'll be blessed and you will do this and I look forward to seeing you in heaven because that's where we'll all go once we meet Jesus. Thank you for listening and watching. God bless you.